everyone, it's Lexi and today I'm making doing a video on all the books that I think everyone should read in their lifetime. So I have a lot of books in, um, to include in this video, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first book I chose was The Light Between Oceans by M.L. Steedman, and this was a book that I read last year and it is about um, a couple who uh, live in Australia and the husband is a, house, um, a lighthouse keeper. And so they live off in this island and um, by themselves. And a great part of the, the story is that um, they're unable to have children. They've um, all the children that they've um, had have ended up being stillborn. So one day, this boat washes upon the shore of like their island um, after a big storm, and there's a man and a baby in it. And the man has died, but the baby is alive. So this story revolves around um, them keeping the baby and eventually they find out who the mother is. It makes you really question like you, like ethics and morals and this is just a really good book. I highly recommend it. It's a bit of a tearjerker but it's definitely worth it. So the next book I chose was Orphan Train by Christina Baker Klein and this book is a historical fiction book about an orphan train which was a train um, that would take orphans from New York out to the mid, uh, Midwest where they would find um, a family to adopt them. And like this story follows like is a parallel story between the past and then the present. And you like kind of how these stories are interwoven and it was it's definitely an, also a heartbreaking book especially because the like it's based upon true events like the orphan train was actually something that took place in the 1920s and it's just amazing like the story here it um, does start in the 1920s and it goes into like the 1940s so it covers like all like the um, important areas or important eras of time and so I highly recommend this book if you're looking for a historical fiction book to read. So the next book I chose is What She Left Behind by Ellen Marie Wiseman and this book um, like Orphan Train is a historical fiction novel that has parallel storyline between like the past and the present and this book is um, about um, like the main part of this book is about a girl in the 1920s who is sent to an insane asylum as a form of punishment from her parents for not um, wanting to marry the man that they want her to. So, and this book is just an eye-opener in terms of how mental illness was viewed back then and how these people were treated. And it makes you really question how like mental health is viewed today, like kind of the whole system around that. And especially, um, how there is a stigma towards the uh, mental health, especially now. So this is definitely a good book I think everyone needs to read and it will definitely open up their perspective a lot. I highly recommend this one. The next book I chose was The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This is probably one um, everyone has probably heard of and it's about um, a girl who um, lives in Nazi Germany during World War II and she is a book thief. And what's interesting about this book is that it is um, narrated from the death's perspective and I but that, that is a very um, interesting um, I guess perspective to read from and, and I think that like the characters like the storyline of the book itself is very interesting but I think it's the characters that really grip you and that really really pull at your heartstrings so this is also um, a very kind of sad book like the ending I did not see coming at all but I highly recommend if you haven't read this already then that you read it. The next book is uh, Me Before You by Jojo Moyes and um, this was a book that I read earlier this year and it's about a girl named Lou who does not want to step outside her comfort zone. She's had the same job, she hasn't gone to university, she wants to stay home and be with her parents but one day the same job that she's had forever um, she gets fired from so she ends up being a caretaker for this daredevil wild guy who's been um, bound into a wheelchair because of an accident and a great deal of this story is that she finds out that um, Will, the guy who is in the wheelchair, wants to kill himself and he has made a deal with his parents that he'll give them six months and if he doesn't change his mind by then, then he will do doctor assisted suicide. So Lou makes it her mission to convince Will that his life is worth living. So the, like a great thing about this book that you later find out is that although she's trying to help 
like will live his life will is also trying to get Lou to will, um, live her life so like this was definitely a, a very good book I highly recommend it it's also gonna be made into a movie I know it has um the guy who plays Neville, and then Finnick from The Hunger Games. So I definitely pick, um, um, think everyone should read this book. It's definitely gives you a different perspective on like people in this situation. So I highly recommend that you would pick this one up. The next book I chose was Still Alice by Lisa Genova. And um, this um, book is about Alice who is a professor at Harvard and she ends up getting early onset Alzheimer's and this is about kind of her story of how she kind of found out she had Alzheimer's and just kind of her progression into this disease. And what's interesting is that this book is written from Alice's pers perspective so you can kind of see kind of her confusion and especially later on in the book as the de disease um, progresses you can understand you kind of see how the confusion sets and it is a heartbreaking story it is a disease that people especially because people are living longer now that um, dementia and Alzheimer's is um, becoming more and more common and it's just a great story to read the author did a lot of research into this disease as well so it's very interesting, it's very informative, and I think everyone should read this book. The next book I chose was Lucky by Alice C. Bold, and she is also the author of The Lovely Bones. And this is her memoir of her um, experience as a um, university freshman getting raped, and just kind of the aftermath of all that in the trial. And this is, I think, an important book that everyone should read. It's very, very hard to get through very heartbreaking but I think this is a book that everyone needs to read within their lifetime because it does deal with subject matter that we don't really see in literature and it does deal with some heavy topics but I feel it's important but they're important topics that we need to talk about so I think this is a book that everyone needs to read within their lifetime. The next book that I chose was The Health by Catherine Stockett and I'm sure everyone has heard about this book. The movie adaptation of this book is really good as well. For those of you who don't know, this book is about um, two maids during the 1960s in Mississippi and one writer and it kind of deal, um, deals with kind of the racial issues that took place. I like the white upper class um, and Skeeter wants to write a book about the help with are like the African American women who like take care of these families and um, raise these kids like a big thing about this is like raising the kids that they would um, eventually treat them very badly and it's just a very eye-opening book because this did happen in American history and like this treatment and it's it's very hard to see especially and I think the film adaptation of this book is very good as well. I think this is a book that everyone needs to read because of the racial issues in it as well and it you really get to see kind of both perspective because Skeeter um, is kind of from like the white privileged um, perspective. You also get the perspective of Aveline and Minnie who are kind of the help and it's that what I like about this book is that they do, even though it is like a very hard subject matter to read, they do they do throw in like humor in it as well. There's like one scene. If you've read this, you will know that I I laughed so hard reading it. I was like, <laughs> I think the book does a good job of kind of balancing out like the hard subject matter with some humor in it as well. So I highly recommend. I think this is a book everyone needs to read. The next book that I have is Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna. And this is um, a contemporary novel about two girls and it follows their kind of friendship from when they first met until like 30 over the course of 30 years. And even I know this is a contemporary book and people do have um, problems with contemporary. I feel like the subject matter in this book is that is something that every like girl or woman can relate to of having like a strong female friendship and kind of the ups and downs of it. Because this book does follow um, the two characters over the course of 30 years, you can kind of see how friends, friendships change during kind of like each um, different period throughout our life. And it's, it's a really good book about friendship. And because of that, this is a book that I think everyone needs to read within their lifetime. The book I have is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dewar. And this is probably one you've heard um, a lot about as well. But for those of you who don't know, it's... Um, 
takes place in World War II and it follows the um, two stories of one girl who is blind in France um, during the Nazi occupation and then also a German like um, young boy who's in the German army and it's just a very good book like the book does bounce around in time and you don't really understand how these two stories are connected but they do end up connecting in the end and it's just um, it's ver it's written very well and I think that's why this book has gained a lot of popularity um, because because of that and I think it does a good job at showing the different perspectives of the different points of view throughout the war like um, from the French perspective and like kind of fighting against the Nazis and then for the soldier who it kind of talks about growing up with the Hitler youth and kind of how that has affected him and like does he do does he actually question like what he's being told to do so I think this is a good book that everyone needs to read as well actually the next two books that I have are World War II books and then so this one is The Storyteller by Jodi Colt and like the other book historical fiction books that I've mentioned this one is a parallel story between the past and the present and a great deal of this book is like a grandmother explaining to her granddaughter like her experience um, having lived through World War II as um, and as someone who is Jewish and she was actually in Auschwitz and kind of like her survival story. The deal of this book is that um, forgiveness and like would you forgive someone who put you through this like horrible experience and did all these things to you. And because it does talk about these things that's why I think this is a book that everyone needs to read as well. The last book I'm sure if you've been watching my videos for a while you'll know. So the last one is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I think I've included this in basically every video that I've done, every book recommendations. And for those of you who don't know, this takes place in Nazi occupied France. And it's like a great and it tells the story of two sisters. The one its sister ends up being a spy who helps smuggle allied air pilots who have crashed into France back into Spain and the other one is a mother who has to is forced to open her doors to let um, have Nazi officials live in her house and this was just an amazing book as I've said many many times but it also raises the perspective like kind of the unspoken heroes of World War II like the perspective we don't really see much about in literature it's always about the soldier and then this one is kind of like what the women did during World War II and it's because of that it's it's a great book you can tell the author put a lot of research into understanding making sure she got her facts right and overall like if I haven't convinced you already this is a book you need to pick up and I think this is one everyone needs to read within their lifetime because how powerful the message is isn't it so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my recommendations. Let me know in the comments below what books you think I need to add to this list, what books you think I need to, and any recommendations that you have for books that you think I need to read. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!